Good evening, everyone. My name is Antonella. Most people call me Nella Bella or Bella Nella. Whichever one you like, I'm okay with it. Tonight, I did, I did want to come on my channel and actually talk to you a little bit more. Um, and I'm gonna do a lot more of it, like I said. So I think I'm gonna call this like pillow talk. I have my pillow right now, just feeling kind of comfortable with it. But um, I really wanted to talk about, the discussion about this video is going to be um, stop wasting people's time, stop giving people false hope, okay? And um, the reason why I'm saying this is because a situation that happened to me at work, okay? And this is not new. Um, every time I start a new job or... And I'm sure some people can relate. Every time you start a new job, you get to meet new people. People like start liking you. You start liking them or whatever. People start checking you out. You start checking people out. Whatever, how you go, right? So anyways, there's this guy at my job that is on my team that actually likes me or whatever, right? And I can tell he really likes me. Like the way he looks at me the way he talks to me, the way he always wants to like make time to have a conversation with me. I could just tell like the way he just glows when he sees me. And it's kind of hard sometimes because when you see somebody like that and then you, they're just like, their eyes are like popping out of their sock, the eye socket. It is just like, so kind of scary. It's almost like for me, I kind of, I'm a smiley person, sorry. I'm a smiley person. I smile all the time anyways, or most of the time. So it's kind of hard. Like when I see that, I actually laugh. But I know it's not, it's not funny. But anyways, besides that, um, I want to say this. Because, so we've been on the same team for like maybe, I don't know, a month now, right? And so now he is getting to that point where he's like, I guess he got the gut to ask me out. So he was like, hey, um, I would like to take you out. You know, I would like to go to a restaurant with you. Why don't you let me take you out? Like it was, and I would say, no, 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 no. Then he, then he asked, you know, why, why wouldn't you? Like, we're just going to go out, just me and you, whatever. It's nothing serious, right? Um, he doesn't know. We had conversation, him and I, before that, just little conversation. And we talked about, you know, some like our life and what do we do. Um, and, you know, I was telling him that I go to church and I'm active in church and stuff like that or whatever. And so he was telling me how he does not or have not gone to church for whatever, how long. And he doesn't really have a relationship with God or and some other things, you know, or he's a Catholic or whatever. So... Right then and there, for me, it's like, those are like signs or red flags. And so, and when I say red flags, it's as red flags for, as a mate, for me to see him as somebody that I would follow or submit to, okay? So right then and there, I already know we're not equally yoked. And um, even as a friend, we're not e equally yoked. But um, at that point, that relationship that w him and I would have would be me ministering to him. Um, it wouldn't be me seeing you as a mate or me seeing you as somebody that I can be with, right? Okay, you guys, get get me those that um, are on this level. So, anyways, um, I actually told him. I was told him, you know, hey, we're not. Um, you know, you're not, we're not on the same page. We're not going in the same path. And I, the type of person that I would like is somebody that does have a, a somewhat of a relationship with God that is actually walking in um, ministry or, you know, doing the work of God. Like at this, that the age that I'm in right now, I don't feel, I don't see myself going backward. It's, it's forward and I can't drag you to the level that you should be spiritually. And so um, 
So that's that's the point. For me, I don't right now I've learned to not put people through that. I've been through it. Um I've been led um not astray, but I've been given false hope and I know the feeling of thinking that because this person is spending time with you or because this person is going out with you that there is somewhat of a hope because why would he spend time with me why would he call me so there's no i already know firsthand how that feeling feels so i'm not gonna put somebody through that and so for me i was like you know why waste each other's time basically i will be wasting your time i know that i know that he likes me i know that he would do his best to show me that he is the right man for me but then i already know that he's not the one for me so why put him through that why give him false hope so all of those things are things that now i i think about before i didn't before i was like hey i'm gonna get a free meal hey i'm gonna do this you know oftentimes ladies um when we were young or whatever or even now, some people still do it. You know, hey, let me get what I can get out of this. Um, I don't like him, but he likes me apparently. And he wants to take me out. So let me just take advantage of the situation. And it's time It's time for us as people, as, as men and women of God especially, to stop wasting people's time. If you know this person is not who you want, Especially if God gave you a revelation that this is not the woman for you or the man for you. Like, I don't think it should take that long. Like, like in this situation, the flags were already there. I already know this is not the man for me. So why even try to even make a thing out of nothing? Like, I'm not going to even waste time. First of all, he's, he's not like an ugly person, but I was not attracted. I'm not attracted physically. Um, to him, but he's not like an ugly person or whatever. Um, but, you know, with how we were talking about certain things, I already knew that our future or our path is not the same. The only thing I can do is minister to you and, you know, tell you about Christ, um, talk to you about Christ, and hopefully lead you to Christ. So that will be my goal at this point. That's, that's all that I can see myself doing for him um but as for me being with him there's no reason for me to lead him astray or lead him or give him false hope because at this point he will be in the friend zone as we call it and I, i'm not gonna do that to somebody that's 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 too much the only thing right now we are is co-workers and that's all it's gonna be so there's therefore there's no point of going nowhere so i explained that to him and he still doesn't understand he still feel like he we could still go as friends um the bad thing about it like i don't have a problem going out with male friends i do have male friends and i have gone out with male friends and a lot of those the ones that are my male friends are friends that i've known for a long, a long time or they're married and i know their wives um you know we have all a relationship or you know my brothers in christ you know things like that but if there are men that that like me or that, that i know there is something that may transpire out of us going out and i know that i'm not attracted i know that they're not it's best for me not to go with you like i don't see no reason for us to have this type of relationship anymore like I've, I've learned from my past experiences and now i know better it's best not to do that and so again we need to stop leading or giving people false hope this is how people go crazy okay if you meet the wrong person that is obsessed with you that has a crush on you that is like you know there's a thin line between you know a person well, i don't say, i want to say a thick line but um that's a obsession um is not love especially if they're like really you know into you and then you allow that some people feed off of that and take advantage of that and that is wrong but um that person can go crazy. You don't know what this person is going through. And especially if they had that 
if you've building up um, that false sense of hope in them and they are letting allowing their imagination to run wild with it, especially some women and men now, you know, jealousy comes into play, especially if they see you with someone else. Um, envy, I mean, people kill. Like, if you guys, I mean, I watch too many crime scene investigation, forensic um, snap shows to understand that this is real. There are some crazy people out there. And this is how you get stalkers, people to follow you, people to, like, stalk you and not leave you alone. Um, ladies and men and gentlemen, it is time for us, especially the people of God, you are held accountable to be, you know, to move with integrity, to tell the truth. Like, like I said, it does not take a long time to know if this person, if you like this person or not, or if you want to be with this person. Like, I understand if you're both on the same page and you're trying to get to know each other, but if you know you're not on the same page, like, you know, you know who it is. You know who, you, you, you know that you, there's no chance for this person to be with you. And... Of course, you know, you'll, you know, use them for the time being or use them as a crutch to get to the next person that you really want. It's, it's not right. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. Don't do that. You reap what you sow. And trust me, it is worse, 10 times worse when it's done to you. And for me, that a person that's been on both sides, I know, I know it's, it's not a, a fun thing especially when you know that the person may not like you but because they're giving you that they're spending time with you or they're doing this or telling you this and that it's not fun it's not fun when you actually when reality hits okay but this is what, all I wanted to say today I know I can be long-winded at times, and I didn't want this video to be too long, but I did really want to get to the point for us as a people to stop wasting people's time, stop wasting people's life. Like, we're not getting any younger. I'm about to be another age, okay? I stopped counting at 30, but I am, this is my birthday is going to be coming up soon, and I'm, like, really thinking, like, it's time for me to, like, really take this seriously and that is something I have been praying about as far as having a spirit of discernment and again just because this person is not where he's supposed to be it doesn't mean that he's not gonna get there so but I just know that he's not for me I I'm not I'm not feeling anything for him he's not for me but I do pray that he one day gets to where he needs to be spiritually emotionally before he gets to try to find a woman especially a woman of God um, that's going to be submitting to him because he's going to have to lead her to Christ so that's my cue I don't want to get off topic so I'm going to digress off of the, the that part and maybe that will be another video I have so much more to talk about so much more that God is is imparting in me that I need to give out to you and that's it for tonight, guys. I love you. God love you. Be safe and have a beautiful, wonderful night. All right, guys. Bye.